to take a live look right now at where investigators are working to recover more victims that are presumed dead in a plane crash at the lake yesterday that happened yesterday afternoon happened around Powderhorn Bay about 2:20 in the afternoon again over the weekend the Kootenai County Sheriff's Office released some new information about the investigation this morning and again we continue to take a live look at this hour where uh, as we take a live look over the lake uh, we do know that uh, Crews are on the scene right now investigating the plane crash. Again, looking uh, for more victims from that plane crash. Jen York was out there all morning long, and she has the very latest on the victims and the planes involved in the crash. Good afternoon, I'm Jen York here on the banks of Lake Coeur d'Alene where a search is expected to resume today to recover victims of a deadly mid-air collision over Lake Coeur d'Alene. Over my shoulder here, we are north of Powderhorn Bay. That is where this collision took place yesterday midday. Now, new today, we have learned that authorities in Kootenai County have recovered three victims from this crash. Kootenai County Sheriff's Office deputies released new information on this investigation this morning. They say one of the planes involved was a float plane from Brooks Seaplanes. And they say that plane was carrying five passengers and one pilot. Those passengers included three children and two adults in addition to the pilot. The second plane, they tell us, is a Cessna. And a sonar and dive team located the wreckage of both of those aircraft 127 feet below water. And again, sonar teams will be out again today uh, in an attempt to recover that wreckage and more victims of this case. Now, overall today, the water has been fairly calm. Authorities have not been on the water early today from what we have been able to tell. But we do want to take a look at what it looked like yesterday after those two planes crashed midair over the water. It, when that happened, there were multiple first responders from all around the area, and that included the U.S. Coast Guard, Marine Units, Worley, Eastside, and the Coeur d'Alene Fire Departments. We also want to give you a bird's eye view of where this crash happened. The two planes crashed into each other again just north of Powderhorn Bay near Rockford Bay. We talked to witnesses yesterday who witnessed that crash near Rockford Bay. Nicole Hernandez had an opportunity to talk to them and we want to check in with her now. Yeah, that's right, Jen. So I am here at Rockford Bay where witnesses say they actually saw this crash happen over Lake Coeur d'Alene. Now, this morning, the lake is looking much uh, less dense, much less populated. There's a lot less people on the lake as of right now, and it's hard to tell which boats are emergency boats and which ones are personal boats because of how far we are. But crews are supposed to be back out on the water as of noon. So here's some video from yesterday, just like you heard from Jen. Yesterday, there were multiple crews crews on scene working to locate the planes and passengers. Yesterday, even uh, seeing debris in the water, uh, the police officers warning of those oil slicks from the crash and several emergency boats with their flashers on with that debris in the water. And we talked to one woman who says uh, she was on the shore with her friend when they saw the crash happen. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, just a huge, like, big eruption of flames it was just the whole fireball flame in the sky and my friend and I are just standing there and then you could just see debris falling with it and you could tell it was obviously an airplane because it was in the sky but it fell to the ground and then just a huge loud noise followed it so it was pretty terrifying we all were just standing at the beach just watching it and just completely shocked at what we saw now, we also talked to a man who says he was in a boat on the water when the crash happened. We knew we were in the crash site, um, and it, it wasn't but a few seconds until the gentleman from the other the fishing boat um, across from us shouted out that he, he found a body, he found a body, um, and then he, he shouted out again. He said, I've got two, I've got two bodies over here. I need help, I need help. So um, uh, myself and one other gentleman in the boat with me, uh, we dove in the water and swam over to his fishing boat. So earlier this morning, the Kootenai County Sheriff's Office actually thanked the people that were out on the water that tried to help those victims as soon as that crash happened. Jan, I'll send things back to you.
Nicole, thank you so much. Again, taking a look out here at the water, the crash site marked with three buoys this afternoon. The Kootenai County Sheriff's Office is asking the public, swimmers and uh, recreational boaters, to stay out of this area while that investigation gets underway. The plan is to bring in a barge uh, to help recover that wreckage from the lake floor. We have been able to talk to a few locals and they've speculated as to what exactly happened with this midair collision. That of course, the answer will be left up to the National Transportation Safety Board. We know those investigators left Seattle overnight to make their way to Idaho, and they'll be heading this investigation. And of course, once they determine what exactly caused that crash, we'll bring you more on creme.com and the creme 2 mobile app. Reporting along the shoreline here of Lake Coeur d'Alene, I'm Jen York. Back to you.